Thursday, and you know what that means. That's right. It's time for the Karen Black Show. So everybody welcome Mary's sweetheart, Karen Black. Good morning, I'm Karen Black. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is my show. Welcome to my show. It's called the Karen Black Show because it's my name, Karen Black, and it's also a show because it is a show. <laughs> in the 1970s, I was the greatest actress in the world. I was in The Great Gatsby and Nashville. In Airport 75, I those. and in the 1990s, I did a co-star on In the Heat of the Night. That also but whoopie do, hey oh, hello, good morning. It's the Karen Black Show. Now I have my own show called the Karen Black Show. So yay, we're excited. Now I today we have a very special treat. I'm going to make a casserole for you guests. It's called Easy Casserole. It's really easy. All you need is a bag of classic potato chips and a can of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. And you also need a bowl. Oh shit, I forgot my bowl. I don't have a bowl. I don't know if it's not going to happen around. All right. Our first guest is Michael Bolton. Chairs that don't have a bowl in here. Do you have a bowl? Do you have a bowl? I, 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 it's good to be here, Karen. I don't a have bowl. a bowl. Have, have a seat. Have, have a, a seat. Bowl. Michael Bolton. <laughs> oh. Do you like casserole? Do you like easy casserole? If you had a bowl, maybe you could like, we could put this in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to open these up. I'm just going to dip the chips. In the, well, I don't have a can opener. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a can opener? Uh. I don't, I don't have a can opener. Uh-huh. <laughs> can I call you Mr. Bolton? Uh, sure. <laughs> wow. Somebody woke up on the dick side of the bed this morning. <laughs> no, no. Sure, Mr. Bolton. I understand that you like to climb around in dog houses and do like retarded jive. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, Karen. Yes, I was on Dancing with the Stars. Yes, I did a jive, and yes, it was horrible, and I was voted off, but uh, I want an apology from the Judge Bruno, who said it was the worst jive in 11 seasons. Well, you know what? I'd like an apology from Michael Landon for giving me a dirty Sanchez in the schoolhouse on the set of, on the set of Little House on the Prairie, but I'm not going to get that now, am I? I will never get that, because he is dead and currently in hell. <laughs> Okay, look, here's the deal. I just was trying to do something fun that kind of kept in the theme and the funness of the song that we picked. It was shit. My across my left. That reminds me, one time I was on the set. Now I went and visited my friend Chris Christopherson on the set of Convoy. And during our lunch break, <laughs> would you believe it, during the lunch break, I got fisted by Rita Coolidge. Okay. I'm oh, out of here. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm done with this. Let's I'm done. Oh, unless you want to stay and do some retarded job. This is not a retarded job! It's not! I am Michael Bolton! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I haven't seen anything so stupid since the time that PJ Souls and I ended up in an emergency room from taking Special K, and we were pronounced legally retarded for two hours. <laughs> Our next guest is James O'Gee. I don't know who you are. Mm. Uh, I'm James O'Keefe. I'm a conservative activist. I work with Andrew Brebar. Would you like a potato chip? <laughs> They're delicious. Sure. They're wonderful. Did you bring a can opener or a bowl? Because I'm trying to make a casserole, and it's impossible to make a casserole without a bowl or a can opener. No, I didn't bring it. You didn't bring on. You didn't think that you might need to drink that if you're going to be on a show. You might need to bring on a bowl no. or a can opener. Or something. <laughs> you didn't think that. You decided just to be a cunt. <laughs> You made a cut choice. I did. You decided to make a cut choice instead of the right choice. I, I, I well, that happens. I didn't know. Can I call you James? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, cut. No. <laughs> Have you ever done anything fun? Uh, yeah. I just recently, I uh, tried to embarrass a CNN reporter by putting her on a boat and 
putting a lot of sexual devices around her. That sounds like fun. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. It reminds me of the time that I was on the set of Burnt Offerings, a film <laughs> that I did with Miss Betty Davis. Oh, Betty Davis and I went to a Bob's Big Boy, and we had pancakes. Then we decided to hold up the place and burn it down to the ground. <laughs> After a big shootout with the police, we went back to her place and fucked. Then, uh, then we shaved our we shaved our pubic hair into landing strips. So I could say, whoa, 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 the plane has landed because your push is a landing strip. The end. Goodbye. <laughs> our next guest <laughs> is famed director Arthur Penn. Arthur Penn. What? God? What? Miss Black. Yeah, call Miss Karen Black. <laughs> okay, Miss Karen Black. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Arthur Penn is dead. Oh. Uh, he died this week. Oh, so he's not going to be on the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that just sucks balls. He'd have a bowl. Arthur Penn have a bowl, wouldn't he? Yeah. Well, you know what, folks? When life gives you lemons, you make grape juice. Isn't that right? You know, and that reminds me. That reminds me of um, the time that Bruce Boxleitner. I made grape juice for him. You know, I just took grapes and I just rubbed them in between my breasts. Ding dong ding. Welches. Oh, so anyway. Well, that's all the time we have today on the Karen Black Show. Please join us. You can go. Please join us next Thursday on the Karen Black Show. Uh, we'll have more Karen Black because I'll be here. My name's Karen Black, and it is also a show. Just